Welcome to Video Bites today from the Packet Pushers. And our guest today is Chris O'Brien. Chris is a product manager at Kentech. And you guys have announced a new NMS, Chris. Yeah, it's 2024. It's time for a new NMS. People have been complaining about SNMP uh, for decades. SNMP was invented in 1988. And I keep hearing this phrase, SNMP is dead, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the reality is like 99.9% .9 of network monitoring, at least of metrics, is still through SNMP. You know, I think the, the future is streaming telemetry. Streaming telemetry can pull much, much more quickly and more detailed collect rather than pull. Um, and so there's a lot of value in switching to streaming telemetry, but like no one's doing it. And fundamentally, I think the problem is the tools to ingest and interact with streaming telemetry are designed around a cutover. So turn SNMP off, turn streaming telemetry on. And I don't think that's you know, like most of the networks that I see are mixed networks. Some of their gear sports mm -hmm. uh, streaming telemetry and, and some of it doesn't. It's just SNMP only. So that doesn't work. So we're trying to figure out ways that you can get those benefits of streaming telemetry in a, in a mixed environment. All right. Well, then show me some streaming telemetry. We're going to have some SNMP support, uh, but also streaming telemetry. I, I want to see the streaming telemetry part. This is exciting. Yeah, let's uh, let's start with that. This is uh, an example. You know, imagine you plan to increase load on a device, and so you want to check the bits of hardware and make sure you have enough headroom. Here's CPU, and this is this is actually from SNMP polling at once per minute, which is about as fast as you can drive SNMP without it overloading the device. It's aggressive, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even with this, so so we see um, one data point per one minute, we see a spike to about 9%. So maybe I can increase the load by almost tenfold on this device and it would be okay. Yeah, you think you'd have lots of headroom, yeah. Yeah, lots of headroom. So if we look at this data instead from streaming telemetry, streaming telemetry can get down to like every one or two seconds. And it's a very uh, different picture here. I've got yeah. very low usage most of the time, but bumping up to 29%. So now I'm thinking, you know, if that task that 29% is common and I need to support that and I can't smooth that out, that load out for the device. Now I can only increase this by something like threefold. It's a very different conclusion. So on this tab we're looking at, Chris, we're not polling. This is data flowing into the metrics explorer from the switch. That's right. So the uh, our system has subscribed via streaming telemetry to this data point, and the device is sending us a new data point every two seconds. Okay, so rather than a one uh, once per minute polling I was getting with SNMP, now I'm getting data every two seconds pulling in from the device, and so my granularity is way better. And so now I know I'm pushing almost thirty percent during that burst, and I have to I have to change my capacity planning thinking accordingly. Okay, this is this is yeah. great. This is what I was excited about is be able to see just how granular we can get. Well, what else can I explore in this, Chris? Yeah, so uh, one of the other most common problems with SNMP we've been dealing with for decades is fake spikes and sp fake troughs. And that's caused because the, the timestamps when we're calculating windows, not to get too nerdy, but when we're calculating windows, we don't know which window um, a data point goes into because the timestamp for that is all the way at the management system. There's lots of buffers and variable delays between that. So with streaming telemetry, we get that timestamp at the source, which means we remove a lot of those fake troughs and fake spikes, making the data just more accurate overall. The, the other thing that more frequent data points does for you is, um, you know, it means the latest data point is much, much more recent. So imagine we're in an outage and after some troubleshooting, we found that, you know, the problem seemed to resolve on this guy, on this Ariston, and for whatever reason, our CPU is pegged. Go figure. So I'm going to put in an attempted fix. Uh, I'll press it now. And we'll see now that we're pulling every two seconds versus that five or 10 minutes, we'll see that that starts to come down very, very quickly, like five, 10 <laughs> seconds. You can see that in your NMS. Okay, this is this is interesting. I've done lots of NMSs in my career. And I'll tell you, the NMS is like the last thing I worry about when I'm in the middle of troubleshooting a problem because it's always behind. If I'm doing SNMP polling, it never knows five, the exact five, 10 minutes behind, right? Yeah. 
And so what I would do is, since I didn't have a system like this that would tell me, but this is this is this is effectively real time. It's it told your fixes work, the CPU spike is gone. I would have to go on the device itself and run show commands or do other sorts of things to let me know that my fix had worked. And the last thing I'd check is like, oh yeah, the NMS is all back to green, right? Kind of thing. Because yeah, it yeah. wasn't especially useful for troubleshooting. This is immediately useful. Yeah, and, and you know, NMS is at scale, so you're doing this across all of your devices, all that supports streaming telemetry, and all of the metrics you're getting there. So, man, it's like going from spindle to SSD. It's way, mm. way faster, and you, you don't want to go fat back after that. <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> How do we make this possible in a mixed environment? Because that's what everyone has. Like, everyone is 90% devices that only support SNMP. So it really needs to work great in that. So we treat both SNMP and streaming telemetry as first-class citizens. And all of the data across the, the system, whether it's SNMP or streaming telemetry, is normalized into a single uh, data model based on open config. So you can see this dashboard has devices um, and metrics on it. Some of these devices are being pulled with SNMP. Some of this data is being collected streaming through streaming telemetry, but it's all normalized and your dashboards just look like how you were used to. Ah, that's a big deal, actually. Okay, so I, you guys are handling the inbound data from streaming as well as SNMP polling and just presenting it to me in a unified way. I don't have to worry what my source was particularly. Yeah, and your alerts work as you would expect. It's not like my alerts have to know what data is coming in, right? Well, that's that's a bigger deal even than people listening might realize in that there's a lot of data modeling that has to go on for that. The format that the data is coming for into sure. you via streaming telemetry is going to be a different animal than what you're going to be pulling from OIDs in an SNMP MIB. Yeah, it's also true that there, so there's a mixture of which devices support which, and then even within one device, it may not support all of the, the data that you're used to in streaming telemetry. Some of it can sit in SNMP. So we've designed it so that, you know, even looking at the data for a single device, some of that can come from one and some com comes from the other, and you don't really have to care. And if you drill into one of these bits of data, you can access our query builder. And that gives you sort of more direct access to the data model itself. When you apply a normalized data model to all of this data and you're consistent, then you can reliably start asking some really interesting questions. So, you know, most people, most network engineers and most systems are really anchored on looking by device. But if we want to say, OK, don't look at just this one device. And, you know, I've got all of these different sources of data and within this BGP uh, prefixes measurement, uh, I'm going to drop out these metrics and I'm going to think about, hey, what's my received prefix count versus how many am I installing and how many am I rejecting? And I don't want to do that based on device. I want to do that on something um, broader, maybe address families. So I'll run that query and I can see for my IPv4 prefixes via BGP, I'm receiving 421,000 and installing 80,000, about a fifth of them versus IPv6 where I'm receiving 290,000, installing a little bit over half of them. So a very different way to think about different perspective on your network when you have all of this data normalized. So the way that Kentic is gathering the data, you're allowing me to query across the database broadly. And this, you're right. You made that point about engineers uh, thinking more in device terms, or a lot of times we do. We're guilty of that, Chris, because we've yeah. lovingly installed that router in the rack and brought it online ourselves, and we care about it. But in fact, it's just one component of a distributed system, and it's the system, the network as a whole, mm -hmm. that we care about. So now if I can query the network as a whole and ask it questions and get interesting answers back, like what you're illustrating here, that is that gives us more insight into what's really going on network-wide. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty excited about more detailed data. And, and man, in 2024, I don't think we should be polling every five minutes using SNMP from 1988. That's craziness. Like we just <laughs> we we should have more detailed, more accurate, um, more fresh data. Okay, Chris, this is a great illustration of what we can do with Kentix's new NMS. Uh, thank you for pointing out it's not just another. Even though you haven't gotten rid of SNMP because you still recognize its importance in uh, network management, we've gone beyond that now. We've got a way to manage and monitor and analyze all of that data in a unified way. So if people want to find out more about uh, the Kentic NMS, Chris, where do they go? 
yeah, you can check it out at kentick.com or shoot me an email on cobrian at kentick.com. Chris, it was great to have you on Video Bites today with the Pack of Pushers. Thanks, Ethan. 